Did you know that our country have well-known scientists? Scientists that are known across the world who possess intellect, knowledge, and nationalism. There are lots of them, but let's focus on these two. Jose B. Cruz Jr. and Lourdes J. Cruz. We will talk about their contributions, national and international awards, the background of their lives, as well as our insights towards them. Let us all learn and know them more. Once again guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Jose Bihar Cruz Known as a distinguished Filipino engineer that contributes major concepts and involvement in the development of engineering in his country. Known for outstanding contributions to the theory and to the field of automatic control in research, teaching, and service. Known for his specializations that focus on sensitivity analysis and multi-agent based modeling for decentralization and control in a large systems or network, known as a fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. The field of study he is best known for are artificial intelligence, control theory, and mathematical analysis. At this juncture, let's now explore the Jose B. Harcris Jr.'s life. Jose B. Harcris Jr., commonly known as Joey, is a noted control theorist and a distinguished professor of engineering in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Ohio State University. He was born on September 17, 1932 in Bacolod City, and his native town is in Malolos, Bulacan, Philippines. He completed his secondary studies at the Bulacan Provincial High School. He studied at the University of the Philippines, Diliman, for his higher education where he completed his bachelor's degree in electrical engineering with the Latin honor of Summa Cum Laude in Quezon City in April 1953. He migrated to U.S. in 1954 and became neutralized in 1969. Subsequently, he also studied at Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, USA, where he earned his Master's of Science for Electrical Engineering in June 1956. He then earned his doctorate degree in electrical engineering from the University of Illinois, Urbana, Illinois in October 1959. Jose Bihar Cruz has compiled an invaluable record of accomplishments in engineering, research, and education. During his 27 years on the faculty of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Illinois, he was one of the original founders of the Allerton Conference on Circuits, Systems, and Computers, served as the Associate Director of the Coordinated Science Lab, and as the Associate Head of the said department. In the year 1986 to 1990, he was the chair of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of California at Irvine. Subsequently, he served as Dean of Engineering at the Ohio State University. He retired from the deanship in 1997 and was awarded as the first Wimbledon Chair in Engineering. In year 1980, he was elected as a member of the National Academy of Engineering and he is also a fellow of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers and AAAS. Let's now move on to Jose's inventions. In research, he has made major contributions to the theory and practice of automatic control. One of his research on 70s and 80s were focused on the content of the leader follower system. As we can see the pictures behind, there are two instruments used in the experiment, a toy car like, 
wherein one of those is a follower and the other one is the leader. The follower should maintain the separation, distance, and angle with respect to the leader. He led a major research effort by a consortium of four universities and one company funded by Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, to apply his work on the leader-follower control problem to the design of optimum strategies for human automatum resource entity deployment with potential applications in future combat systems. The second one is the AI-based utilization of data. Utilizing data-based artificial intelligence or AI to enable science-based models and dynamic feedback controllers to stabilize disaster remnant systems, wherein the data-based artificial intelligence system would be used to identify and classify the disaster and the feedback controller would automatically adapt to it. Let us now move on to CES contributions. The first and foremost is his contributions in the quality education improvement. Jose Bejar Cruz Jr. has contributed significantly to the improvement of the quality of engineering education in the Philippines by means of Master of Engineering programs in several consortia of engineering schools he helped to develop. Established a practice oriented from 1993 to 1998, he helped to establish a practice-oriented Master of Engineering degree program focused on an industry-linked project in several Philippine universities. Given that he was a consultant for the Engineering Science Education Project of the Philippine Department of Science and Technology. The third contribution is Utilized Engineering and Mathematics. He used engineering and mathematics to devise the comparison sensitivity matrix for evaluating changes occurring in different components from the parts of an ordinary flashlight to the automatic control and feedback of a Patriot missile. As a conclusion, Jose Bejar Cruz Jr. has educated generations of undergraduate and graduate students over his 45-year career. Instilling the qualities of technical excellence in research and teaching and inspired professional service. Many of his graduates have become academic leaders or hold prominent positions in the industry. Dr. Cruz has been readily accessible for advice and mentoring to his former students in junior colleagues. On the other hand, this is our group's insight about Jose Bejar Cruz. We the Filipino are very lucky to have Jose Bejar Cruz Jr., a notable Filipino scientist that had that significantly contributed to the science and technology, specifically in the improvement of engineering field and to the theory and practice of automatic control. He was very dedicated to help of the future engineers at that time until now where in fact he helped develop several schools by means of improving quality learning of the engineers in our country Philippines through the implementation of Master of Engineering programs. With the good quality of engineering education, it is not surprising that the preceding generations of the engineers were well trained that leads to the betterment of our industry. His contributions served as crucial pillars that support the current state of the country specifically in the building and construction industry. The concept of his control theorem became a major factor that brought our country to a much larger scale, capability, and level. Through this, Mr. Jose Bihar Cruz Jr. is truly a man, a model, and one of the heroes of Philippine science. As we learn more information about Engineer Jose Cruz, we can realize that there is more to it than just building, conceptualizing, and analyzing. The most important thing to keep in mind is that the contributions that we future engineers can leave as our marks. Let us now move on to the second Filipino scientist named Lourdes Hansoy Cruz. Lourdes Hansoy Cruz, the national scientist and biochemist, are known for being cisnel venom specialist. 
and their scientific contribution to the field of biochemistry, particularly on the isolation and characterization of the venom called conotoxin from marine cone snails. She is recognized as National Scientist in 2006 and El Oriel UNESCO First Filipino Woman of Science in 2010. Dr. Cruz is recipient of the Gawad Counselor Research Award in 2002. Field of Specialization Number 1. Biologically Active Compounds from Conus Venoms Number 2. Development of biochemical methods for monitoring paralytic selfish poisons, or PSP, jellyfish venoms. Number three, biochemistry and toxinology. Lourdes Sansui Cruz is a national scientist and biochemist. She was born on May 19, 1942 in Tanza, Cavite. She studied at University of the Philippines Diliman in 1962 where she received her undergraduate degree in chemistry. She received her master's and doctorate in biochemistry from University of Iowa in 1966 and 1968. She completed her master's degree in 1966 and her PhD in 1968. She worked for a year at the International Rice Research Institute. Completed five month postdoctoral position in Kansas State University. In Kansas State University. Published over 130 academic papers and as a prolific career in research. She conducted pioneering studies on the biochemical factors affecting the increasing levels of protein in rice. The first award that Lourdes Hansui Cruz received is the NAST Outstanding Young Scientist Award on 1981 and then she received National Research Council of the Philippines or NRCP achieved Ment Award in Chemistry on 1982. Then next, she received the Outstanding Woman in the Nation Service Award or Biochemistry on 1986. And lastly, she received the National Scientist of the Philippines on 2006. Lourdes Hansui Cruz contributed many research. Cruz has published over 130 academic papers and as a prolific career in research. Armed with her decorated education background, Dr. Cruz accepted the position of assistant professor at the UP College of Medicine in 1970. It was there that she began working with other biochemists in exploring the biochemical properties of marine predator. In 1970, Cruz worked as an assistant professor at the University of the Philippines College of Medicine. She worked with many biochemists and began her and began her research on Conus geographus, a venomous fish hunting cone snail found in the waters of Marinduque and Mindoro of the Philippines, whose sting can result in death in humans. Her work focus on the isolation of peptides from the conotocens in the snail's venom, while their effects were still unknown. Her research shed light on the effects of conotocens on the central nervous system and their connection to muscular paralysis, paralysis to muscular paralysis, sleepiness, or drowsiness, involuntary motion, and more. Today, conotoxin peptides are very important and they are extensively used biochemical probes such as to test calcium channels 
ignorance and prohibitory of muscular movement when investigation actions at synapses. For example, two classes of conotoxins are used as analytical agents. Omega conotoxin has been widely used for studying neuronal calcium channels and new conotoxin has been used when controlling muscular activity to observe events at the synapse. Our insight about Dr. Lourdes Hansi Cruz is she was a well-knowledgeable scientist who makes significant contribution to biochemistry, research of toxic peptides from the venom of fish hunting conus marine snail, and researching in connecting science and technology to poor and indigenous rural, rural communities. It surprises us that she studied in popular and prestigious universities with bachelor and master degree and finish it with her license at registered chemist. She also contributed a lot in our province because of her research about venomous fish hunting cone snail found in the waters of Marinduque. It's amazing that she discovered something beneficial for humans truly a great scientist who deserves all of our recognitions. After knowing her brief background and contributions, it helps me to understand why some people pursue their goals and works hard to reach their dream. It inspires me to study hard, be passionate, and contribute something to help people in their daily life. With her, I realize that all efforts are rewarded in the end. Hello once again guys! This is the end of our presentation. Our group hopes that you grasp the knowledge, understanding, importance, as well as the inspiration from these well-known and majestic Filipino scientists. Thank you for listening and have a good one.